Man, the past is so boring. I got it. Oh, so this is the future. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I should tell the founding fathers about this. Witness whereof we have here are to subscribe our names. Here, Mr. Washington, in front. Oh, thank you, Mr. Nancy, sir. I shall know that with it. Excuse me, sir, but who are you? I am Aristotle. I have read your book, The Politics. Why, thank you. It took me a long time to write that. Is that the Constitution right here? Well, yes, it is. May I see it? <laughs> ah. What? I can't read this. Someone explain it to me. One of what I think is the most important topics in the jury rule. The jury rule comes up in most of our decisions. For example, you need a majority president to start business in Congress. And you need two thirds of the vote to expel a member of Congress. You also need, more importantly, when you pass a little proposed amendment. We had a majority rule in the Electoral College. You need a majority to elect who the president's going to be, so majority rules are very important to our government. Intriguing. <laughs> We also have age restrictions on who can hold office, like the president needs to be 35, <coughs> senators need to be 30, and House of Representatives need to be 25. And also, we have land restrictions so that the poor don't take advantage of, um, the people without land don't take advantage of the people with land. Um, we also don't let women vote because they're inferior and we don't believe they should. Okay, so another important aspect of the Constitution is that the Constitution is the supreme law of the land, which means any laws in the Constitution are supreme to national law and state law. Also, another supremacy clause that we put into the Constitution was the fact that national law is higher than state law, so states can't go against the federal government. So, in addition to just regular laws that are made by the federal government that are supreme, trees are also supreme to state law. Our government is comprised of three branches. First, we have the judicial branch, which is comprised of judges who judge the constitutionality of laws passed by the legislative branch. Our second branch, the legislative branch, is comprised of two houses, the Senate and the House of Representatives. They pass the laws and propose amendments to the Constitution. Our third branch is the executive branch, which is headed by our president, who is also the commander-in-chief of our military. I agree with your majority rule, because 
it, is, it means that you have a democracy, which is one of the good types of governments that I described in the politics. A democracy is the bad version, and that is when there's mob rule, which is bad. So you got, it's good that you guys have a democracy. And the oligarchy is also good you guys don't have that, because that's when the elite care for themselves. And also, despotism is when the ruler, when the ruler cares for himself and oppresses the people. Oh, hell no. Is there anything else you think about from Joy Rule? I like how you have voting requirements for the electoral college, because, because that means that the poor don't disenfranchise the rich, uh, which could lead to mob rule. Also, you should not have either economic extreme in power. It should be the middle class because they are content with life. That's what we were aiming for. And also, every citizen can vote. Wait, what happened to all our restrictions? Well, the government passed amendments that made it so you could vote regardless of gender, land ownership, or race. And they also lowered the voting age to 18. Oh no, women are inferior. They shouldn't be allowed to vote. I agree. So what do you think about our three branches of government? I think you did a good job incorporating the three branches that I talked about in the politics. But I believe that the power of the executive branch should not be held just by one person. I believe it should be split up between multiple people. That makes sense. We don't want to make the president too powerful, after all. We originally rebelled against England's monarchy. However, we don't want to lose the power of the presidency too much, because that's what was one of the problems we had with the Articles of Confederation. Well, if you put, it between, if you put the power between multiple people in the executive branch, that will not dilute the executive branch's power. That will just prevent a oppressive president. What about the judiciary and the legislative? Well, the judiciary fulfills the perfect judiciary as described in the politics written by me. And the legislative, even though you call it legislative instead of deliberative, uh, mostly fulfills the perfect legislative as I described, except that the Congress should appoint officials instead of executive appointing officials. That sounds good. Another element we from politics was the supremacy of law. Our Constitution is extreme law of the land. It is good that the Constitution is supreme, because if it weren't, then the states would try to make laws that had power over the national laws, and that would break up the Union. Do you have any more comments? Well, one thing is that, the, is that slavery was abolished, which ruins the hierarchy of the household. Some people were born to be slaves, and when, it was, when slavery was abolished, that means that those people no longer have their niche in society. Well, we couldn't settle that issue, so we decided to leave it to future generations to decide. Now that I've given you guys advice, I hope that you take my advice into consideration and update your constitution. Bye! Bye. Bye. Be well! Are we going to change the constitution? No, I've worked too long on that constitution. Well, we should still listen to what Aristotle said. We should include his ideas anyway. It doesn't make sense otherwise. No, it'll take too many compromises to do so. We've had so much compromise to deal with already. It would be too much work and too much hassle. But we're going to leave the, com the compromises alone and we'll just add some stuff. It won't be that great of a change. Yes, it will. He said it could change the future as our future generations know it. But these little changes could be huge. You know what? I'm tired of your back up. Let's go. Bring it.
Let's see if these guys did what I told them to. Okay. <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!